Hey, 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 Stubby here, and today we're using Create to Craft and knocking out a bunch more quests. Let's go! Hello, 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 we are back. Uh, so in between episodes, I did a lot of redecorating, a lot of reorganizing, and a lot of little odds and ends I figured out. Uh, first thing I wanted to go over was this pot right here. I actually need to move it. It works right now. Apparently, it was a, a, a minor bug that's getting fixed. These have to be between Y55 and Y70. Uh, so they, it is going to have to go on the ocean floor. And on pack release, which we're hoping for a Monday time frame. So when you're seeing this video, uh, the the hope is the pack will be coming out with this video. Um, but yeah, so these will not work in your thing. They have to be on the ocean floor or you know at, the, at an appropriate depth. So that's going to have to move. It's coming down today. The other things is done is I have rearranged my create room. Uh, what I did is it's 99% automated. I have a plan for the last piece of it that's going to come up as a chest, uh, you know, from maybe in this corner, something like that for the strainer meshes. But as of right now, I basically put two locked drawers, one for dirt, one for gravel, and the piping out of these meshes goes to that chest. All the dirt and gravel will go to those two, and everything else goes to these locked drawers. So it auto sorts, auto does everything. So it'll it'll uh, strain, come down, bring those two products sluice. There's actually a chest underneath, and that pipes back in. So this entire system is automated with the exception of the meshes. So I think that's a good deal. Over here, so far it's our farm, I think, or our animal area. I'm going to put uh, farming and animals. I'll probably do a split level because it's such a big room, and I want to save space. So we'll probably end up moving some stuff to a higher level. I'll break the glass. We'll put in you know, more of this sandstone tiles. We'll, we'll clean it up. That's, I think, the end goal for this room is like food, animal products, things like that. We still have another room we'll be able to build over there. And I haven't done anything with this room yet. It's just kind of been here. But we, I know we have ours. We have uh, thermal. There's immersive. We have a, we have several things that we're going to have to expand into. And we have our top room, which right now is, hi buddy. It's just it's a room. I'm not quite sure of the planning for it, what we're going to do with it. But it does have a nice free fall that I've been told to turn into a waterfall. So we'll see. Maybe we do a decorative waterfall. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that. Come up with something, because I do want to do a landing pool for the uh, submarine. Might just make like a little docking bay or something. We, there's, there's a lot of possibilities. Maybe we do a docking bay in between these floors or something. Do the moon pool up there. So many ideas. Uh, so in between, I did do a lot of preps. We're getting set up for the quests. First one I did was this cog. And if we go check it out... The cog is the smallest of these uh, simple ships. There is, I want to say five. You can get with different speeds, different storage capabilities, things like that. Uh, it's just an all-around good way to travel around. Sure beats the the Minecraft. Uh, how do I need land to put it down? Oh, there we go. There we go. And if I remember right, there's ways you could put the sails down, things like that. I don't remember all the mechanics of it. I got some learning to do. And if we look, actually, let's just look. Let's do it together. Controls. Sim, nope. Sail. Yeah, see? Look, now I'm just auto going. I'm not touching the keyboard at all. I'm just rolling. Turn. That is beautiful. Ah. There we go. And now we'll go knock out the rest. This thing is looking beautiful. I feel like we need uh shark. I feel like we need to build another room on top of this one. Some sort of tower. Maybe we expand, expand all the way up to the to the surface. Right. Next thing we're gonna walk into is Tom's. So the Tom's simple storage. 
some let's do tops easier to clean the two blocks we're going to look at is the inventory connector and the storage terminal so the storage terminal is this frame glass and the treated wood planks who had a moment in order to get that we're going to need to put an iron around or aluminum nuggets around each glass some reason I also didn't grab enough glass cool grab some more boom And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just like that. And then we're going to have to take it and go into four pipes. Pipes. We have to set up our mechanical crafters. So these are pretty awesome. I, I am a huge fan of the way these work. We're going to not quite do it the way it's designed, but we're going to do it. Now, the one thing we're going to have to change is the f angle of these. So if I think if I am looking at this, we can just do it like there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Grab some shafts. And of course, as I get everything prepared, I lose something. Because why not, Stubby? Click that there, click that there. There we go. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring this Just like this for now. It's not going to be pretty. This is one of the ones that is just going to have to quickly change into something else. But I want to get this power. Now, the recipe for it, if I can type, uses, it's a 4 by 4 pattern. I think we got this. And I need a little stepping wood. And we're going to put our chest over here at the. Eh, that is not a chest. Now we're going to coordinate everything going in the direction that we want it, just like that. And let's try this. So it should be there, 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 there. Glass, 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 glass. Oh, and I think you're going to do that. It's got to be the right shape. Easy to fix. Boom, boom. And we'll change the shaping of this to that. I feel like if you have them not facing the connection, you can make them all work. 
I remember that was a thing, but that is a bad spot. Ta-da! All right, and the next one we're going to do is the inventory connector, which is the same concept, but pipes instead of glass. There we go. Look at that beautiful... Ah. And I actually want to put this right here. So this will give us access to the whole inventory. I'm going to be expanding my storage drawer system along here. Uh, now with this, you can't actually put stuff. Oh, you can now. I thought you couldn't before. Hey. Is it putting it over there? Hundred and one free, hundred and thirty one slow. Interesting. So you are able to put stuff in. Cool. I mean I'll take that. Oh, I bet it's putting it into that chest because I think it's counting them as connected. Got it. Okay. There we go. We have Tom's. Moving on, the next thing we want to talk about is the fluid tank. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. So we want to make these dots, 24 of these dots, which is steel and clay. Now to give us our factory dots. And what we're going to do is we're going to, the, Fancy fluid tanks gives you a tank that you can design in whatever way you want, and it gives you a nice multi-block tank. So more steel, more clay, and a bucket. So I haven't, I'm not going to set this up quite yet. I, I don't know the exact place we want to put it, but if you look at the quest book, this is how it works. Yeah, any, any shape you build with a hollow structure, it, it makes the internal structure a tank that actually fills with the fluid. And if we look at this, it says each empty space, so each block space in there holds 256 buckets. Your tank can have as many as 500 of those spaces inside of it. So that's a big number. <laughs> What's it? 256 thousand turn fifty six thousand twenty five thousand I don't know like twenty five thousand so hundred and twenty five thousand buckets some crazy but yeah so that's gonna be a thing that we can have we can make uh it'll probably first and foremost be used for my creosote storage over here because this bad boy fills up Next thing we want to look for is the blaze burner. Now, we're going to need this blaze burner for a few different builds, but more importantly, we're going to you know, have our fun with it. So I'm going to craft this. We're going to hold off going to the nether. I, I feel like because I don't want to waste the overworld cake, and I don't want to buy another one. So we're going to, we're going to get ready for it. And I think next episode will be an exploration episode where we kind of just go down that adventure. Um, but we're going to go ahead and craft it. It's pretty simple to craft. It's steel plates and steel fences. Hammer. So we'll do one, two, three steel plates. We'll do two rods. I will do it in the right position. 
I was right the first time. Oh my gosh. I have to make the fences. I was like, why is this not working? Empty blaze burner. Uh, so what this will do is if you place the blaze burner underneath this with a blaze in it, you can provide it with fuel and it will do the cooked recipe. So in here they're talking about making blaze cakes and things like that. There's quite a few recipes if we look at the uses for this. You can see we'll be able to make blaze uh, endurium cloths, we'll be able to make chromatic compound, chocolate, brass ingots, lava, and so on. It, it has 11 pages of recipes in here. So it's going to be a nice portion of it. And then you can also do potion brewing. Go ahead and grab our cake for that one. The next thing I wanted to look at was a hydrostatic. Uh, botany pot. Whew, moments. So to make the hydrostatic botany pot, we have to do two, two pieces. We have to make these water-resistant planks. We have to make four of them, so two craftings of it. And then we'll make the hydrostatic botany pot, just like this. Now I'm not going to actually be able to put. I'm not going to put this up. I, I I could put it right here, but as of tomorrow or Monday, whatever day it is, uh, as of as of Monday, when the pack releases, assuming it does, these will not function. I plan on updating immediately to the the release version. These won't function, so we're not going to put that up right away. But what am I going to use it for? This bad boy right here. Spiderweb sapling. No more gathering leaves to get string. This will get us our string. It's going to be a very, very beautiful thing. You stay right there. And I just dump you up there so I don't lose you. Uh, so when we get this set up, I'll probably end up crafting some more, but we'll start with the two. And I plan on going right down here. And I'll just do a pipe. So I'll make a bunch of pipes and I'll bring the products out of them up into our storage so we can just kind of forget about them. Let them do their thing, let them function. All right, so now we are going to try to work through most of the rest of the create chain and a few other little side projects. Hopefully it is all ready to go. Uh, so the things I'm looking at doing, uh, we're gonna try to just knock out all of this chain. And I got the start for these two on the Seamoth. Uh, we're going to have to do some work for this one. These electrical engines, we either need a lot more lapis and some blaze, or we need to go find some lead. So we're going to have to go on some adventures. But before we're able to do that, we're going to want to be able to go uh, exploring in the water a lot easier. And also need to clean out my inventory. All right. So let's just go ahead and start collecting all this stuff. Get ourselves ready. I'm highly, highly organized. Uh, so the first things we're going to run through is we're going to be able to get through the wetsuit. In order to do that, we're going to need to make the Invar blend, which is crushed nickel and iron dust. Iron dust I made. Um, I didn't make that one. There was a different version of it I made. Right here. Nope. 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 Uh, anyway, it was iron ingots in the millstone was the, the method I used to get it. So we're going to put this and this, and we'll go ahead and throw that and that in there. We'll let it mix up, do its thing for us. Ooh, the lighting of that dog just scared me. He was so dark. It's so hard to acquire seeds. Ah. And of course this I got just from bow mealing on the grass right here. Really quick. <laughs> now I have too much. Uh, you can go, you can go. Uh, we might need you. Uh, let's put you in there. Put the tools up there for now. Go ahead and pick up the rest.
No. And we'll just make our string. Plenty of string now. Look at that. And now we have our imbued cloth. So the things we're going to make are the pants, the scuba feet, which I believe was that, the fins. I'm going to put some of this in here just to hold on to it. We need to make the diving mask, which was a bottle, three of them, and that. And the standard O2 tank, which was some leather, invar plates, and a fluid tank. All right. Let's see. We needed to do... Had a moment. The fluid tank, which is going to be copper ingots and frame glass. Four of those. Copper ingots. So I wanted to test this because I could not remember if I do something like this, if it works. Copper, yeah. Haha, -ha, it does work. All right. And we need to do some Invar plates. And we'll put one of these back, put that right there. Oh, there's a lot of tanks. Yeah, right there on the first one. So it'll be two leather on the outsides. And four Invar plates. Come on, one more. We got this. Stubby power. All right. And this will give us five coin. Storage or upgrade. Hub key fragment, which will be the last key, but we're going to wait to make sure we mark that one off. And we can work on the Seamoth frame, which is going to be steel scaffolding, this gray seat, and three frame glass. The steel scaffolding should just be like this. The gray seat should be like this. And the frame glass, where did I put you? And we're going to use this one. That one. Yep. Okay. There to there to there. And everything looks good. You'll go down, you'll go down, you'll go down, you'll go up, you'll go over, you'll go over, you'll come out. The seat will go right there. And the frame glass will do that. Look at it. It's a pretty, pretty frame. And we'll just go ahead and put this one into storage right here. Look at this, we're getting paid. All right, so I said we can do the reinforced wood now, which is going to be treated planks and nails. And that is everything we need to get to the battery portion of the Seamoth. Fruit cream festival bread. All right, appreciate it.
Uh, so here we're going to get into Signalum in order to proceed down here. We're going to need the batteries to proceed here. So this battery is really going to be the stopping point for the transportation quest line. Uh, for create, I said we're going to go to the nether at another time and we'll be able to rock down the rest of this path. But we have enough stuff that we can just work through right here. So the copper is going to be the wires on an empty spool, which is iron plate and iron rod. Like that, and we'll do one, two, three, four. And put that up there. And we need a total of four of them. Just like that. Why did I make so many? <laughs> Why doesn't anybody stop me when I do this stuff? Ah, what a waste. Good thing iron's infinite, pretty much. And we need to make the capacitors. Oh, good, I needed more. Copper plates, a zinc sheet, and a redstone torch. Yeah, zinc's the one thing I don't have on me. Go, Zinky, go. And again, we're just going to try to clean up our inventory a little bit more. Get some of this excess stuff out of here. And we're going to need a copper plate and a redstone torch. Redstone. I don't have very much it is left. Copper plate. Redstone torch. Should hopefully look like all right that knocks out our capacitor quest the next thing we need to look at is the furnace engine and this is where we are going to get into more powerful items within here so we'll need five brass sheets two brass the piston and a casing and this one will be a three by three. So we're looking, we'll send this one down, that one out, up, 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 down, 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 over. And it'll look like this, 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 brass casing and the piston. And two brass ingots. The next thing we're going to do is we got the rotational speed controller, the flywheel, and the alternator. So what this does is the flywheel will con is what creates the power off the furnace. The rotational speed controller is how you speed up your shafts. And the alternator takes that speed and converts it into electrical power. So the rotational speed controller will be a precision mechanism. All right, let's just head over to the crafting table. It should run pretty smoothly into this. Grab you, grab you. Precision. So we'll need one wooden gear, 
a silver gear and three brass sheets. I said three and I needed four. Math. We'll need two shafts and a, oh, hello eggs. Two shafts, brass casing. And this is our rotational speed controller. The flywheel is going to be, what was it, eight brass. And we just have to disable the middle one. So we'll do this by sending this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and hopefully this works. Do it the easy way. You can do it. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I had it wrong. I think that one. All right, let's reconvert these. So you're going to go down, over, down, away, away. Down, up, away, away. There we go. We'll need the brass casing. Just like that. There we go. And what you do is you take this furnace engine and you'll put it over a furnace or a boiler, something. And that'll produce the power. Flywheel, will, it'll make the flywheel spin. We'll hook this shaft to it and then we'll hook the alternator up after that. Ooh, adjustable gear shaft. And the next thing is gonna be alternator. So it's gonna be silver plates, eight of them. And yep. We're going to do, it's a four by four recipe. So we have to use everything. So the first thing we'll do is we will convert you down, convert you down, up, over, down, 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 over, up, over. And we'll start with boom, 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 boom. I got the recipe wrong. Four redstone wires. And we'll do the copper and the capacitors. Copper capacitor. Look at this thing go. We are creating devices. And now all we have left is the LV wire connectors and the LV capacitors. Uh, in order to make this work, we are going to need to make the LV wire. But that is simply copper wire on a spool. So this one right here is terracotta and three copper ingots. And I feel like I used it all. So we'll just dump it in there. Double check. Yep, I had one. And the LV capacitor is two copper wire coils. Need a stick. LV. Oh, 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 go, go, speed racer. And a stick. 
we'll need two redstone wires. Try to get this picture made out. Eight treated wood planks. Two nails and two LV wire capacitors. And that is everything we need. So we'll do this. Terracotta. Now the wire connectors do, they can connect two wire, or one wire point. So you could have a hypothetically a connector on here and a connector on here, and you can do one wire between them. There's also the LV relay, which allows, I believe, four connections. So you could do the machine up to a re relay, and that relay would also be powering a couple other machines. So this one is again going to use all four. So we're going to put the nails in the corner, oh. the LV connectors up top, the treated wood planks, and the last thing is copper and redstone. Look at that awesome design. There you have it. This is all of our way to finally get to a electrical power from Create. Now we were going to end up leaving all of this stuff up. Uh, this section right here does need to get relocated and we'll leave this here, but we're going to start a new electrical chain. And I think in order to do it, we were going to do it the standard way of making a tree farm to go along with it, which will supply me all the wood I need so we can eliminate the hydrostatic botany pot that would be down there. And we'll probably just eliminate this one too, since we can just do the hemp seeds. So in between episodes, I'm going to come up with the location and the plan for my tree farm, which honestly, we kind of, eh, I want to keep my animals. I might do it in there. Right, we're going to do the tree farm. We're going to create the power. And the good thing is we don't actually have to have it all contained over here. We can set that up have that self-contained maybe we do this room hmm so many decisions but we will get it all powered we'll get it set up and we're going to work towards our next quest chain uh, with, with preparations for the nether a little bit of more preparations into the farming i don't think we're ready for the dark caverns because we need to do a little ocean armory look at this we need the we need the pew pews and the zap zaps so in between episodes, I'm going to make preparations for a few of these quest chains and we'll try to hopefully finish up act one and get a good, good push on act two next time. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. I love the people that are subscribing, the people that are joining the discord. You guys are phenomenal. I really appreciate it until next time. Stubby out.